Hi, my name is Rachel. We're going to talk about a common mistake that people make when they fill their rear tractor tire with air pressure. So on a front tractor tire, you'll read the sidewall and determine how many pounds you want of pressure you want to put in there. Normally it's 32 pounds, but on a rear tractor tire, that is not the case by any means. When you fill your rear tractor tire, you only want to have 12 to 15 pounds of pressure. And that is the same whether your tractor has rim guard in it, calcium chloride, or just air, you still only want to have 12 to 15 pounds of pressure. That's a very, very important. Additionally, when you are filling your tractor tire, you want to use the proper kind of gauge. Uh, you'll see that both of these gauges look the same on the outside, but they're not the same on the inside. This one is spring-loaded, which means that it can handle water. This is the type of gauge that you want to have. If you use this type of gauge, which is not spring-loaded, the water will go in there, and then it will wreck your gauge. You may also uh, have a gauge that's similar to this one in your garage, and this will not handle water either. You don't want to use this type of gauge as, uh, on your rear tire as it will wreck it. So the only type of gauge that you want to use is this type that is spring-loaded. Use this type of gauge, only put 12 to 15 pounds of pressure, and you'll be all set for your rear tractor tires.